promptly, which Khrushchev did so impressively. Fraser, all set to make history. Never before has a girl swimmer won three successive Olympic titles for the 100 meters freestyle. Swimming in the fourth lane from the camera, Dawn's triumph adds to her victories in the Melbourne and Rome Olympics. It follows nearly a year of sorrow and frustration after the car accident in which her mother was killed and she herself was injured. At the turn, America's Sharon Stider was only just behind in lane five right next to the Australian. Sharon Stider, only 15 years old, Dawn Fraser, 27, 12 years her senior. And now that fantastic finish, which Dawn described as the most desperate finish of my life. And Dawn Fraser wins with a new Olympic record of 59.9 seconds. And America's Miss Stada becomes only the second girl to swim the distance in less than a minute. So it's golden glory for Dawn Fraser. The day before, our thoughts all lay with Scotland's Bobby McGregor in the men's 100 metres freestyle. Bobby's in the second lane from the camera. The culmination of months of training and preparation, the chance to put it all to the test. At the turn, a time of 25 seconds. But now there's trouble coming up. In lane five, America's Don Schollander, world record holder for the two and 400 meters. The 20-year-old Falkirk boy is swimming his heart out, swimming to win the prestige event of the whole swimming games. But in the very last stroke, Schollander beats him by a finger. It must have brought a cloud of depression over poor Bobby, even though it was a cloud with a silver lining. Nevertheless, he's the first British man for over half a century to win an individual Olympic swimming medal. <laughs> 